Let's look at the lesson, find start and end times. The problem says, last night, Mason had a dinner date that took one hour and 30 minutes. And after, they went walking for one hour. If Mason got home at 10.30, what time was his dinner date? So we know the end time was 10.30. That was the time that he got home. So 10.30. Well, we know that the dinner date took one hour and 30 minutes, and then the walk took an hour. So in total, I can see that would be two hours and 30 minutes. So the total time was two hours and 30 minutes. So if I wanna figure out what time the dinner date started, I need to go back two hours, 30 minutes. I know going back one hour would be 9.30, Going back two hours would be 8.30. So now we've used up the two hours. Now we just need to take away 30 minutes. Now if we take away 30 minutes, that will be eight o'clock. So they started the dinner date at eight o'clock. Michaela has to write an essay for school and has spent 30 minutes on it so far. She then spent one hour watching cat videos on the internet until 5.30. What time did Michaela start writing her essay? Well, I know she spent 30 minutes on it, then watched cat videos for one hour. So that's a total of one hour and 30 minutes. So if we start at 5.30 and we go back one hour, It'll be 4.30. We've already taken care of the hour. Now we need to go back 30 minutes. And if we go back 30 minutes, it will be four. So four o'clock is when she started. Nick goes for a run, but forgets to check the time when he left. But he knows that he ran for two hours and jogged for one hour. If he gets back home at 10.30, what time did he start his run? Well, that's a total of three hours of being out running for two hours and jogging for one hour. So that's three hours total. If it was 10.30 when he got home, and we know that he spent three hours out, we could subtract three from 10. What is 10 minus three? Yeah, seven. So it was 7.30. The minutes did not change, but the hours did because we need to take three hours away to go back three hours to find out what time he left. So 7.30. After waking up on Saturday morning, Gabriel had to do chores for two hours. After chores, he took the opportunity to play his bass for one hour. If Gabriel was done playing bass by 12, what time did he wake up? So we know that he had to do chores for two hours after he woke up, and then he played bass for one hour. So that's a total of three hours. So if it was 12 o'clock by the time he was done, we need to take away three hours to find out what time he woke up. So if we take away one hour, it would be 11 o'clock. Two hours, it would be 10 o'clock. Three hours, it would be nine o'clock. So he must have woken up at nine o'clock. Last night, Lily had a dinner date that took one hour and 30 minutes. And after, they went walking for one hour. If Lily got home at one o'clock, what time was her dinner date? So we know that it was one hour and 30 minutes for the dinner date, and then after they went walking for one hour. So one hour and 30 minutes plus another hour is two hours and 30 minutes. If she got home at one o'clock, let's see, we need to go back two hours. So one, back one hour would be 12, back two hours would be 11. And now we're done with the hours, but now we need to go back 30 minutes. So 11, 11 o'clock minus 30 minutes would be 10.30. So it must have started at 10.30. 
Luke started cleaning at 8.30 and spent 30 minutes in the bathroom and 30 minutes in the kitchen. What time was he done cleaning? Ah, so he started cleaning at 8.30 and then he spent 30 minutes in the bathroom and 30 minutes in the kitchen. So we need to add 30 minutes that he spent cleaning the bathroom. So plus 30 minutes would be from 8.30, that would be nine o'clock. And then he spent another 30 minutes in the kitchen, so we're going to add another 30 minutes. So that's 9.30. What time was he done cleaning? 9.30. Noah started cleaning at 7.30 and spent one hour in the bathroom and one hour in the kitchen. What time was he done cleaning? So he started at 7.30 and he spent one hour in the bathroom, so if we add an hour, that's 8.30. And one hour in the kitchen, so if we add another hour, that's 9.30. So he was done cleaning at 9.30. During school, there is one hour of scheduled exercise and 30 minutes of scheduled nap time after that. If exercise time starts at four, what time will nap time be done? All right, so we know that if the exercise starts at four, exercise will go on for an hour and then there will be a 30 minute nap. So if we have four o'clock, and then an hour later after exercise, it would be five o'clock. And then they nap for 30 minutes, we would add 30 more minutes. So from five to 5.30. So 5.30 is what time nap will be done. A meeting starts at 9.30 and is scheduled to discuss zombie rights for 30 minutes and disease control for one hour and 30 minutes. What time will the meeting be done? Well, I know that 30 minutes plus 30 minutes is one hour. So that's like one hour and one hour, which would be two hours. So if we have 9.30 and we add two more hours, let's count on 9.30, 10.30, 11.30. So it would be 11.30, because it is just two hours later. At a math conference that starts at 8.30, they have scheduled one hour and 30 minutes for a lecture on prime numbers and one hour and 30 minutes for building fractal sculptures. What time will the conference be done for the day? Well, I know that I can add these times together. So 30 minutes plus 30 minutes is an hour plus two more hours, because each of these are one hour and 30 minutes. So if we have one hour plus one hour, that's two hours. And then both these 30 minutes combine to make another hour. So that has a total of three hours. So if we start at 8.30 and we count on three hours, so 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30. So it would be 11.30. Great work, friends.